processes of speech production. Um, phonetics is study, study of speech sounds and whenever we produce any sound it goes through different processes. Different articulators are involved here, different places of articulations are involved here and different um, those uh, different sounds are uh, articulated using different uh, manners. So sounds in language. What are those sounds in language? You can see here all organs in vocal tract must in, must work in consent to just produce one single word. Consonant sounds result in some constriction or obstruction of airflow, while vowel sounds don't. In terms of consonant sounds, we use the following three criteria. Remember that we use the following three criteria in the production of consonant sounds: voicing, place of articulation, and manner of articulation you know the sounds are present in all languages in each language sounds are described not by how they appear to the ear but rather how they are produced in the vocal tract articulators move in the vocal tract and air goes in and comes out with vibration or without vibration thus uh, sounds with obstructions are called consonant sounds whereas sounds without obstructions are called Vowel sounds. You can see here the different articulators, the nasal cavity, oral cavity, and uh, glottis. And here within these cavities, we have all the articulators that are involved in the production of speech sounds. So what uh, what is the next uh, what is the next criteria? It is a place of articulation. What is a place of articulation? With the help of place of articulation, with the help of this, we locate the exact exact place where the obstruction or closure occurs place of articulation is the point place of articulation is the point in the vocal tract where the speech organs restrict the air passage producing distinctive sound is particularly important for the production of consonant sounds consonant sounds are um, there uh, which are produced with the by, by their place of articulation for example bilabial ba ba pa and ma are bilabial sounds fa and wa are fa and wa are fa and wa are labial dental labial dental means bottom li lips bottom lip touches the upper teeth dental means tha da tongue touching the upper teeth alveolar ta da sa za la and na tongue touching the alveolar ridge behind the upper and post alveolar ra Tongue curled behind the alveolar ridge and palato alveolar ja and cha. Tongue touching both the hard palate and the alveolar ridge. So, platel means sha, ja, and ya. Middle of the tongue against the hard palate. Ka, ga, and ang. Back of the tongue against the soft palate and velum. Glottal ha is formed in the space between the vocal folds are glottis. You can see here the different articulators that are there. Then, that are involved here manner of articulation articulatory in articulatory phonetics manner of articulation um, decides about the kinds of closure in the mouth resulting in the production of consonant sounds for example how the speech organs articulator as uh, articulatory sounds for example uh, this is the manner how different organs come together and produce the sounds for example pa ba and ta are called stops Da, ka, and ga are called fricative. Fa, wa, tha, da, sa, za, sha, ja, and ha. They are called fricatives. What are fricatives? Friction occurs as passes through. Effricates. What are effricates? Ja and cha. Why they are called effricate? Air stream is stopped as for explosive and then released slowly with friction. Nelson sounds are ma, na, and ang. Streams uh, air stream is diverted through the nasal cavity by lowering the soft palate, and liquid sounds are la, ra, and glides are wa and ya. Yeah. Then we have voicing. What are what is voicing? It is the action of vocal tract which determines whether a sound being made is voiced or voiceless. It is an articulatory process in which the vocal flaps are set in vibration by outgoing column of air. During voicing, the vocal cords are brought close together to hold them tight 
and their stream vibrates in a rapid succession. There is, as a result, quick opening and closing of these vocal folds several times. Sounds and during that process, sounds can be produced without the vibration of the vocal folds. Such sounds, which are called without vibration, are called voiceless sounds, and sounds which are produced with vibration are called voiced sounds. Nasalization, labialization, labialization is the process in which lips play an active part. They come together to form the various stages or degrees of rounding, which is very important in producing back vowels. For example, U and O, as in shoe and show, the two lips are joined together for the pronunciation of the plosive sounds. For example, pa and ba, and the voiced nasal sounds ma. The lower lip is raised to approximate or to be leveled at the edge of the upper teeth for the fricatives, for example, fa or wa, or for the semi wall, wa against, uh, again, there is a noticeable lip rounding. Palatalization. What is palatalization? Palat in palatalization, the tongue levels comes closer to the hard palate, leaving only a narrow space through which the air stream uh, passes producing frictional noise, noise, the tongue may form complete uh, closure and then gradually it releases, creating a turbulence of air due to the breath stream escaping through the space, slowly being allowed to form. This is how the sounds in jaha and cha is produced. You can see here the hard palate. Then velarization. Velarization. Velar sounds are produced by this process. The back of the tongue is an important factor here. It plays an important role. It forms the total occlusion and the articulating certain types of so stops and fricative sounds. The velar sounds are ka in ga English and ha is a velar and nasal ha heard in such words as king, sing and conquer. Glotalization. You can see here. The area that is called glottal, uh, glottalic area that is shown with the help of the arrows. Glottalization, the space between the vocal cord is called glottis. If the vocal cords are brought together and released with a popping action, the resultant sounds could be um, categorized as glottal stop. Then we have nasalization. What are the nasalization? This is a process whereby we produce nasal sounds or nasalized sounds. In the articulatory, articulating these sounds, the soft palate is lowered to close off the oral passage and direct the air stream to the nasal cavity. In another case, the air is allowed to go into the both the oral and nasal cavities, but the active articulators check it in the mouth. For ma, two lips come together to form a closure and channelize the airflow through the nose. Similarly, for na, the tip of the tongue comes into contact with the back of the upper teeth and forms a closure. Although the vocal track is blocked at one point, the breath stream flows outward to what has been called a secondary aperture consisting of the nasal airway. Nasals are also classed as resonant or continuant. You can see here that uh, the process of uh, the process of speech production involves both manner and places and also voicing. So these three processes uh, come together and help in articulating the consonant sounds. Thank you very much.